Narendra sir is with us. Sir, many thanks for talking to us. My first question: uh, Government took a major decision regarding the steel, that uh, entire export. That was a uh, uh, major policy reform. How you take it, and how it is going to benefit the entire sector? I think it was very timely. Uh, we appreciated the fact that uh, the government took that call in May to bring in export duty for uh, inflationary concerns. Uh, we were assured it was temporary, so I'm glad that it has been removed because I firmly believe uh, that India is a great place to produce steel. We should be making steel in India, not only for India, but for the world. Exactly. India is a great opportunity to export a lot of steel because most of the big steel exporting countries are countries who import iron ore, whereas we have our own iron ore, and steel plants are normally built in some of the poorest parts of the country. Hmm. So it's a great opportunity for us to add value to our iron ore, create jobs, uh, in economically uh, uh, weaker parts of the country mm. and uh, you know, uh, build a large-scale, globally competitive industry. So we welcome the move. Uh, in addition to this, still there are a couple of challenges like the cooking coal prices as well as the raw material. Yeah. So in addition, what you are looking forward uh, from the government? So one is cooking coal obviously is an issue because uh, we don't have too much of cooking coal, but I think we can do uh, better to make use of the coking coal which is available in the country. I think there's more which we can do. We are talking to the government about that. But uh, largely we are dependent on imports for coking coal. It comes from Australia, comes from Russia, comes from Mozambique and other places. Uh, so that's something that we need to really think about because as the Indian steel production goes up, the coking coal requirements will also keep growing. So we really need to solve this problem going forward. You just mentioned the name of a country called Australia. So the good move is that India and uh, Australia, that trade deal is signed. How you are looking uh, for this entire trade pact because now it is quite sealed up? Uh, you take on the seat. So uh, we congratulate the government. I think uh, the minister, uh, Mr. Goel, announced that it has been cleared by the Australian government. Uh